Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about hiring a new coach. Um, I had one last year, Corona happened, ditched him because there was no point. Um, this year I'm getting a new coach, so I'm showing him off in this video. Really cool guy, but before we get to that, uh, I'm just going to show you a uh, physique update transformation. So it's been four weeks since I've got some shots in the changing rooms posing. Unfortunately, the second lot of images, I fucked up the recording a little bit, so the lighting's a bit off compared to the first. But I think it really shows just how much I've changed my body in just a month. Um, and when I get a coach in a couple of weeks, it's really just going to step up my game. So let's just get to it. So this is footage from a month ago. Um, and I am holding so much more body fat here and you'll see in a minute when we get to the next clip um, Muscle mass wise fairly similar although I've definitely gained a lot more size on my legs But I'm kind of keeping them a bit on the wraps um, But they're growing really fast my back has lost a ton of fat uh, especially around my, like my midsection area There's just so much less body fat there now um, and I feel like my arms have actually gained a decent amount since this last recording because I've been training them so much. Um, but anyway, this was a month ago. So the difference in weight between these next two clips is surprisingly not as much as you'd think. I think I'm only about three pounds lighter in this clip and you can see I fucked up the lighting a little bit with the recording. But it's still very clear that I've gained some good muscle on my shoulders. A um, little bit on my back, my, my triceps and my biceps are really coming in now, I'm training them a lot more. Um, I'm just really focused my training in, but you can just see how much more defined I am, even though the lighting is absolutely terrible compared to the previous clip. There's so much less fat on my upper body, like, so much less, and that's not even taking into account the amount of loss on my legs. You can see the love handles have shrunk down a huge amount, you can see so much more definition in my back now than compared to a month ago. Um, and I'm still only a small way on my journey, you know, this is the amount I've managed to, so I think I'm three pounds lighter in the right video, but I've definitely lost a lot more than three pounds of fat in a month. Um, I've regained a lot of mass very quickly uh, from just training my fucking ass off, basically. I've been really going hard, um, my diet's been really good, and that is why I wanted to hire a coach, is just to take it to the next level um, and get even better, get even leaner, get to contests, sort of levels of lean if I can and from there we'll see where we go. So my coach is a guy called Chris Jones or he will be my coach soon. Um, basically uh, there's a new gym near where my uh, where Amy's uh, parents live um, and we went down there. Um, it's the video I shot the last video with the arm session. Awesome lighting in there, really fucking cool old school bodybuilder equipment in there. If you want an attachment for a bar, they have everything. They've got safety bar squats as well. They've, there's so many, for such a small sort of gym, he's managed to pack in an insane amount of equipment in there. And it's all really good stuff that's just, and yeah, it's just a great gym. It's really cool. For, for like straight up bodybuilding, it's perfect. Um, and the first time I went in there, I didn't even really know who Chris was. Um, but he was really friendly to me on the front desk and Amy. Chatted to us, was nice to us. Um, he even you know, complimented my genetics before I even really spoken to him about anything. It was like, oh, you've got some good bodybuilding genes there to me. Uh, and then later on at the end of our training session, I, was just, I thought I'd ask him if he was doing online coaching. Uh, and it turns out he's only just started up his coaching business because he's doing his last ever professional show. Uh, he's a NABA pro. Um, I'll show you some of his trophies and stuff as I'm talking through. Um, and, but yeah, he's doing his last show ever. Um, I'll show you what he looks like right now. This is him seven weeks out. Absolutely crazy. I recorded this yesterday. Uh, went to his gym, did some free recording for him to help him out. Um, I just, I want to get surrounded by people who know their shit um, and Chris knows his shit. He's been doing this a long time. Um, he's got his own gym off the back of bodybuilding and stuff like that, which is a dream of mine. So there's definitely a lot I can learn from him and I'd much rather have a coach like him that's near enough by that I can go and visit for physical check-ins if I need to or talk to in person or get an in-person training session if I need to and he's charging the same price as an online guy I'd never meet. Just being able to get there and physically go to his awesome gym and you know do some sessions with him and record him training as well. Um, it's been great fun already. I've enjoyed the experience already. I've not even actually started coaching yet. So definitely going to go with that, uh, go with him. Um, and I'm going to be covering some of his 
like progress up to his final ever show. But like I said, in that clip, he was seven weeks out and he said to me, he's got another seven to nine pounds to lose. And I was looking at him and I was like, where from? There's like no fat in it. But that's the insanity of pro level bodybuilding. Like, and I need someone like that in my corner to help push me to that level um, and help see what I can do with my genetics. I've never in my life even close to what I could possibly achieve. But I know that for a fact. I've never even been close to stage ready. Basically my holidays in two weeks, I'm hiring him the second I get back and I'm really gonna put my pedal to the metal. For the next two weeks, I'm solely focused on shredding off as much fat as I can before I go on my holiday because I wanna get some good pictures on holiday and because it's meant to be a heat wave and I wanna have my shirt off and feel like a god. No, I'm just joking. Just, I just wanna be confident in how I look walking around. But yeah, from talking with Chris uh, about just about contest prep and just about how he trains for it and how he diets for it, I just kind of got to ask him some questions when I recorded the session for him. Um, and he trains exactly the same way I do, which a lot of people online say is completely wrong, but I bet he's a lot fucking bigger and more shredded than you are. Um, he goes by how he feels each session. So he has a rough plan in his head of how he wants to train but he just goes in and has an intense session, makes sure he hits the muscles he's trying to hit and hits the core exercises he's trying to hit. But at the same time with bodybuilding, you've got to be flexible with what you're training because sometimes the machine you want is taken, I mean, not in his gym, because it's his gym, but that's one reason. Sometimes your joints aren't feeling right for certain things. For example, on this leg day, you know, sometimes my legs are not feeling like squats. My knee tendon might be hurting a little bit. So you've got to find alternative ways to work around it. And he also says he never has any two training sessions the same. He doesn't like the progressive overload style stuff where you do the same exercises each week, try and push the weight up a bit. He's much more mindsets like mine where you just want to train that muscle that you're trying to train fucking hard, you get good contractions in. So he was doing loads of bodybuilding style shit. Um, so he was doing uh, rest pause sets, um, loads of drop sets, um, and just like high volume sets and stuff like that. Whereas his son, who was training with him at the same time, liked progressive overload, he was doing straight sets of just like lower reps, bumping the weight up, taking notes of how much he was lifting, and he said that works for him. The, the bodybuilding style works for Chris, and that's very much what I'm about training style as well. So I think I'm gonna get a lot from him, like I'm gonna learn a lot of new exercises training with him, and it's also just that accountability to make sure that I keep on my diet properly, I do the cardio every day, I've got the exact right cycle that works for me. Well, I've got a lot of experience in all those things now. I just need someone to have a second opinion, you know, to make sure I'm doing everything right and just to give me a push when I'm like slacking and not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. That's, that's all I need. Uh, and with that help, I think I can, I know I can go a long way. So that's why I'm getting him um, in three weeks time. And from there, things are just gonna go up even faster. I can tell I'm gonna, it's just gonna motivate me even more to train like a crazy motherfucker because I'll allow an actual professional behind me, you know, critiquing me. So it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm making the right steps to actually get where I wanna be in bodybuilding now. Um, and if Corona comes back and there's another lockdown, so be it, I'm gonna face that when it comes to it. But at the moment, I'm just gonna pretend that that's not gonna happen, fuck off, Stay dead. Well, don't stay dead. Stop killing people. Whatever. I'm just so done with it all now, honestly. Um, and I don't listen to the news or anything anymore like crap. Bodybuilding, that's all I care about. I'm just going to the gym, training, eating, helping my clients, focusing on making these videos better for you guys. I've got my chat room going, so you can join that. That Just hit me up on Instagram if you wanna join my bodybuilding group chat room. If you liked what I've recorded in the gym for Chris, if you're around the South End area, um, come here and I'll help record a training session for you. Or um, I'm happy to travel like to, out to you guys um, and, and do some training with you. Especially if you're like an actual athlete who's gonna do some competition soon. It doesn't have to be bodybuilding, it can be anything. Um, I wanna get better with my camera, so I'm offering free videography and like pictures and all sorts um, to anyone who wants it, pretty much. Uh, and I'll whack all your stuff on my new Instagram, Fitness Freaks by Finbar. Um, so I'd like to just, it's a, the main reason I want to do this is to get better on my camera, but also just to meet more people. I just, after being locked in for a year, I just want to get out and meet as many people as I can and you know, do some proper networking. And just meeting a few people at Chris's new gym has just 
amplified that desire in me to go out and meet more like-minded people. So um, just hit me up on Instagram uh, if you would like your sessions recorded um, or if you want to meet up for training or, or anything. So yeah, I got such a dad bod in lockdown, but it's gone now and I'm getting my actual bodybuilder shape back and we'll see where we can take it in the next couple months. Um, but I know by October time, I'm gonna be looking probably the best I ever have, but we'll see. We'll see what Chris can do with me. Um, but anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, hope you guys are training hard, eating well. Summer's well and truly here. Now's the time to be dieting down and trying to look good. So I hope you're all on it. And I'll catch you for the next video. Lots more training, fun stuff to come, different gyms I'm recording in. Uh, yeah, it should all be good. So I'll catch you soon.